uh, it's good. It depends what kind. Um, it depends, like exactly what kind of sleep, for instance. Like it, if it's like, for example, it's a routine thing. So if you're mm -hmm. constantly having deep sleep, mm -hmm. deep sleep routine, it's difficult. For instance, for you know, if you keep changing from uh, mediocre sleep to a deep sleep, it, this is like the changing sleep habit has a big effect on someone's discipline. Um, that's yeah. Exactly. So that's that's one of the things that you need to kind of like do a checklist with me right now and say, okay, yeah. how is my sleep at the moment? Is something that I can improve on? Am I sleeping right or not? Because you just need to think about for a bit. Okay. If you're not sleeping that good, how the hell do you want to have energy the next day and be disciplined in the same time if you don't have the energy? It is the same as you wanted to run, but you don't have running shoes and you just want to run with, with uh, without shoes. You can, you you can't do it, but it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be really painful. It's gonna it's gonna be a horrible experience, right? So it's the same. So something that you need to consider it is how is my sleep at the moment because that's gonna be reflected on your energy and also on your discipline. So sometimes it's not about that you lack consistency. It is sometimes that we might need to check out your sleep a bit, and it's not about just. Wow, from midnight to morning or like from tomorrow, I'm going to start sleeping eight hours and I'm just going to be trying to be perfect. It's not about perfection, but maybe you just need to be honest with yourself. For example, me with you guys, my sleep at the moment is so shit. It is the worst in my yeah, life. Too much <laughs> no, it is because now I'm in a new house. Yeah. And when you move to a new house, your body's adjusting to this new house. So your sleep is lighter and it's just a, it's, it's a, it's a process. So we, I'm, I'm all right with it. I'm okay that my sleep is not the best. So therefore, I need to say to myself, Emir, if you feel low in energy, if you feel that your discipline it might be compromised the next day, it is because of my shit sleep that I got. So I'm aware of. So then I'm not telling myself, oh, I'm not disciplined. Oh, no, it's my sleep that is not making me disciplined. Well, exactly, yeah. Sorry, but it's, your environment has a big effect, you know, on your sleeping routine. What of question course. I wanted to ask to him, your professional experience. Yeah. I mean, what do you advise when you change of environment, moving away, you know, mm -hmm. um, what do you find is very effective where for sleeping, you know? So I sleep? will, I, uh, and this one is a reference, very good question. Thank you so much for, for participating um, in, in this. Uh, the reference that I will give you to all of you guys is the, uh, all my book, on the book uh, that I got, Less Pay More Gains, I, I'm talking about the sleep. So the sleep chapter is going to give you a lot of options for you. There you go. So that it will be one of the supplements that Daniel is also uh, sharing with us today. But it's also a shawanda. For example, a shawanda is going to help you to calm yourself in a really nice and slowly progress. So if you want to know more Ashawanda, I can create a personalized video for you and I can give that to you on a private message. I'm going to say it to you anyway um can I, I will send that to you later so that is one of the ways and then also earplugs i'm i i i mask you know to blind your, your your eyes so that is two things that also you can take uh with you anywhere so i've been sleeping in so many ho hostels where it was students it was drunk people you can find everything so it was really difficult for me to sleep properly but with earplugs taking a shawanda and also the 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 eye blind blindfolds i was fine okay so that's three things that you can take so if you're not using earplugs or blindfolds or the um, the ashawanda you might take into consideration to improve your sleep a bit more all right so let's have a look to the chat box cbd the famous vladimir so yeah i mean wheat <laughs> it, is, it is good but it's expensive so if you have money you can invest on cbd or or marijuana but it depends so <laughs> that's something that I, i'm not that that into to do with me but well you can do uh, let's see so we got another uh, they stole your phone in queue <laughs> there you go that's the thing because of sorry me. sorry yeah <laughs> I, I would never use earplugs or mask in a hostel just in case <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably was that my fault and then we got kian saying hey then very well thank you how's the, the pasta <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> i didn't know it comes it's up so like, well, so, yeah that's so, great that's, so perfect right, Daniel, how you doing man you okay yeah man i just literally I'm sending you in the, yeah, in the 
you still had the past the had the past to doing good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro, it's it's fine. Thank you. It's it's That's fine. Good. Sorry, so, yeah. No, Continue. don't worry, don't worry. It's good. I like that you are talking between each other because we're uh, a family, you know, and I'm not here just to talk. I don't like to talk. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so now uh, another uh, checklist that you can do, guys, it is your water intake. Many of you are doing this perfectly. However, if you're not drinking more than two liters a day, you cannot have an expectation to be disciplined and to have energy. So no way. No way that you, you, you will say... I, I can I'm lacking discipline or I don't have energy. You cannot say that if you're not drinking water. And if it's no no more than two liters. So drink the two liters first, have your sleep sorted, and then we can talk about discipline and we can talk about energy. Yeah. Yeah. Now and let's go to they the recommend next one. They, yeah. Sorry, I mean, they also recommend that before sleep, like like you said, warm lemon, you know, lens you know. Well, uh, it's good, you know, for sleep. Good. Do you say uh, here we got the Dr. Kian? He's going to give us a lot of <laughs> recipes. No, but Sometimes that's good. a bit of tequila or something. Well, actually, with tequila, um, whiskey in Ireland, they, they take it, but when it's cold, um, it, it might help with, with the sleep as well, but as long as it's one shot. But anyway, now we got also a third checklist that I want you to have a look, all right? And if you're not taking notes, Kian or Daniel, then don't come to me uh, crying like a baby. Oh, I don't have energy. My discipline is so shit. Because then, literally, uh, I would make you do a, a thousand squats uh, easier. So, <laughs> so please do take notes. Uh, now, let's go to the third one, which is about protein. So protein is very important, guys. So also lack of discipline and lack of energy, which they are connected, it is sometimes because you're not having enough protein. Okay, you might say, okay, Mir, I think I have enough protein. If you don't know how much it is 150 grams of protein, which is the minimum, you cannot talk to me about protein. Okay, so I want you to have a look. And if you don't know what is equal to having 150 grams of protein, you need to ask me for a reason you are paying me for, to, to answer these type of questions. So that you can say, Emir, what is equal to have 150 grams of protein? So I can be fine because protein, what it usually does is helping you out with the soreness and with the tiredness, because it's a big, it's a big stopper of discipline. If you are not, if you're still feeling sore, if you're still feeling that your muscles are aching and you're not feeling fully recovered. So that's the third point. Four point, it is, are you using your carbs right? That's a very important question. So what I'm trying to tell you here, and I was speaking that with Daniel on, on, on our monthly call, is like he was using rice, for example, in the morning and uh, before work, but it was at 12 p.m. that he was having the carbs, but he was working at 5 p.m., but he was feeling sleepy he was having before that. So I say, you're having five hours gap uh, for uh, before your training. What you usually do with fast carbs, like for example, rice, bread, potatoes, cookies, muffin, all these type of fast carbs, is better to have them 15 to 30 minutes before your workout. Makes sense. So I want you to write down that up as well. So if you are feeling sleepy, it might be because you are having fast carbs too early in the day. So then you are dropping the insulin levels on your, on your body. And especially if you got diabetes history like mine, that will be easier to you to feel tired and to feel a target and to feel low in energy. So make sure to use your fast carbs right. And if you want to have some carbs, I would highly recommend to, to, to have oats, for example, in the morning that will help you too much on keeping the energy that in the day rather than bread, for example. I don't tell you not to have bread, but you need to be honest with yourself. If bread or any fast carbs that you're having that in the day before working out, if it's giving you energy or not. Okay. So, so far, Claudia, can you hear me well? Yeah, I just want to make sure that you're not missing out anything. I can hear, I can hear. I'm just surprised because I was checking like the 150 <laughs> protein grams per day and I feel like I, I'm taking, instead of two eggs, I'm taking three eggs. One egg is only six grams. So how many eggs are in I know, <laughs> today, six grams. It's not, it's today, not a lot. I, I, it's not yeah, lovely. today I had 277 already. 277 wow. grams of protein. And the 
the powder is 10 grams each, so it's not much actually. So do you see that's when you are realizing and you and that's where it's coming up a lot of uh, realizations of you, you know, like, okay, it might be that because I'm not having enough protein, I'm feeling tired or I'm not feeling rested. It might be because of that, because it's not just a workout that is going to tire your muscles or it's going to affect your energy. It's also mm -hmm. your work. If you are walking uh, a lot, you know, if you walk from one place to another, if you go mm -hmm. out and social, all these little things. And also pro uh, your brain and your neuros are made of protein. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's really important to understand. So now let's go to the next one. The second point I want to tell you. Yes, Daniel, tell me, Papi. How many grams, this is a, the, the typical case, you know, how many grams of protein per body kilogram is the healthy? Where yeah. is the maximum? Uh -huh. for, for health, it is 0 0.8, 0 0.8 times a uh, kilos of body weight. And then the max that you can take, which I'm taking at the moment, it is 2.2 times kilos of body weight. So if we go really quick to our, to our calculator I here, I made 3.4 today, bro. That's perfect. Don't worry. You sure? That's that's yeah. what I'm that's what I'm talking about. I mean, um look at it. 2.2, I am on a 79 kilos. So that will be kind of like the recommended. However, if you're going more than three times to the gym, um don't worry about it. The only thing is if you are using 3.4 times 79. So even I own 300 grams of protein. The only thing, you will have side effects of health of over having protein if you have a, a stones on your, on your kidneys. Mm. You're having problems on your kidneys. But if you, if you don't have any problems on your kidneys, you can overload of protein. Eat, and that's better if you have a, a bit of body fat on you. Because protein is the best nutrient and the best macronutrient to you to control and to burn body fat. Um, Amir, what what do you regarding protein shakes? Mm -hmm. For instance, with me, I don't believe it or not, I don't use really when I exercise. I don't drink, you know, like normal people. Like the, I try to get my protein supplements naturally. Yes, but like for example, with someone like me, what do you mm -hmm. recommend? For example, like uh, in terms of grams of like protein to use. For example, if I'm like, you know, so if I'm going in exercising for in the gym mm -hmm. to start off again, um, how, how what do you what do you recommend for that? For someone like me? Like yes, you? I would say at least to start off with 150 grams, which I put on the on the notes. So we start off okay, yeah. by heating that up, which yeah. it will be around equal to having at least Half half kilo to six hundred grams of chicken or any meat that you want. Six hundred grams. Really? That that's that's the the change. That okay. that will be the equal. It will yeah. be a bit more than one hundred and fifty, but okay. around. Yes, cool. Daniel, would you like to say something else? No, I mean that's it. I just wanted to give in some points to that fella. I mean that's it. I mean the main reason we take protein shake is because it's cheaper and it's faster. I mean instead of having to eat half a kilo of beef or or even more just to accomplish the amount of protein yeah. that you need per day that's why you take the powder so that's mm. and and even so that's a natural resource because the way the way protein comes from the milk comes from the cow you know so man go for it take proteins yeah, yeah. well danny what like what do you for example what supplement like protein because i the one i bought i think go. i can't remember the make but i think it's go. uh mega um, is, it, is it like a big tub I bought? Yeah, uh, listen, yeah. just go for whey protein. That's that's the one, the, the normal one that comes from the from the milk, all right? So you can understand me. And you can, from any brand, a good brand, more yeah, or less, yeah. it's cheap and the quality is not that bad, my yeah. protein. There are so many, but you can start with my protein, okay? Yeah. Whey protein, that's it. And, that, and then you, you would you isolate, recommend? Evolate, yes. So many, but just the plain one and look for yeah. one and in each uh thinny so, like 25 scoop. grams of it every yeah every 25 grams of a scoop comes minimum 17 mm. 19 grams of protein that's a good protein yeah. that's what i'm looking for, what you're looking uh, for uh, amir would you recommend daniel would you recommend for example taking the protein even on days when you don't exercise absolutely yes yeah yeah perfect absolutely brother. so look at it guys because it's a lot of information 
and I just go a max of 30 minutes uh, on this call, you're going to help Kian on the WhatsApp group, guiding him towards it. All right. So then you can just have a really nice community as well help. But uh, Daniel and Hurley have been working with me for so many months, so they can help you out, Kian, in the best way. And then if you got something that you might not helping out, let me know so I can just jump on and help you guys also, see? Yeah. But make so a far, team, Hurley. Exactly. We, we, we are a team work, uh, working. <laughs> so now let's move on. So now I want you to put on your yeah. notes. <laughs> I want you to put on your notes, all right? Oh, yes. Also, um, Claudia as well is going to give you a really good tip as well if you want to increase your protein quite easy. But all this is going to be on the WhatsApp group. Uh, so save that for, for later, Claudia, because I know that that's, that's going to make him happy. So now we're going to go to the second topic, which is, are you playing your game or are you playing someone else's game? And that's when a lot of disappointment, when many of you might stop something in the past, or many people stop things because they are not playing their game. I'm playing my game. When I'm going to the gym, I'm playing my game. I'm not playing any super fitness model or any power lifter or any person that is looking bigger or, 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 or worse than me. I'm playing my fucking game, no matter, no matter what. I'm going to do my thing. That's it. You know? So here, something that I want to tell you. If you... Uh, uh, and here you can tell yourself and, you, and you're going to give you a couple of topics and then you can just identify if you are running with heels or if you are running with running shoes. If you are running with heels, you might say to yourself this, I want to look the same as this super fit person. That's, it, that's if, you are, if it's you, you might be running with heels. If you're running with heels, you can say to yourself this, I haven't progressed in the last four or eight weeks and I feel like a failure. You are running with heels if you are saying to yourself, I am so bad at being disciplined and consistent. So if you are saying that to yourself, you're running with heels. You are running with heels if you are saying to yourself, this is not for me and I will never get those results that, uh, that, that I want, so I will stop trying. That's you running with heels. However, you can take those heels out and you can put proper running shoes like Nikes or Adidas if you want to, and you can say the opposite which is if you're saying I haven't progressed, you can say, am I focusing on the goal only or also in the journey or and what I've been accomplishing so far? Because some of us, we, we are working towards losing 15 kilos of body weight and you, you, you lost so far two kilos, but then you haven't realized that your jeans are fitting better, that you changed the, the size of your T-shirt, that people are giving you compliments, that you have more energy, that you feel sexier, that you, that you feel more energized, the fuck so you got a lot there do you know <laughs> you got a lot so that's running with shoes proper ones you know with nikes then if you're saying to yourself for example i want to look the same as that person you can change that up and you can say what is one little thing that i can do or that i can copy for from this super fit person that i might not be doing right now you know, because they they are not super fit because they are just naturally gifted. It's a 1% that they are naturally gifted. Some of them, they work their ass off. So you can just go and, and ask yourself, maybe this person is drinking more water than me. Or maybe this person is having more protein than me. Or maybe this person is just, it might be, I, I just want you to, to do one little thing that this super fit person is doing that you might not be doing. Okay, and if, you, if you're not 100% sure what it might be, you can ask me. And then I can tell you if it's something real or not. But no anabolics, please, okay? Well, I'll tell you <laughs> what, not, running not, with heels, yeah. Okay, so. Running with heels, I tell you, I've seen girls run with heels. That isn't, that is a talent. I, exactly. I, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you, that, no, no, you know, I, I, uh, what's the, what was I going to say, you know, is something um, I'd rather run with trainers, but pretty like that, basically. Good, good for you, my man. But now, look, what we are gonna do, it is this, okay? So just before finishing with this, uh, damn it, let me just, I, I will share that PDF with you as well, uh, the, the ones that you want to have this. I spent five, I, I spent five hours doing this, just to make something different from you guys, okay? Because usually discipline, if you type, on YouTube or Google or whatever, you type how to be disciplined, you know what you need to do to be disciplined. But you just need to complain 
to me, saying that you cannot be disciplined and it's totally fine because I do the same to my coach. When I don't feel disciplined, I go and I cry to my coach. I say, man, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't know what happened. I don't feel like I'm doing things right. And it's totally fine. That's part of being human being. Okay. So don't feel bad for not feeling disciplined. However, here I'm giving you a different way to, to be disciplined. Okay. So now one, one more thing that I want to tell you from here, it is, if you are saying to yourself that you are so bad at being disciplined, okay, and at being consistent, what you can say to yourself it is, what activities, exercises, or sports can make me stick to the plan and be more consistent? For example, Claudia. Claudia is not going to the gym as, as me, for example. She's doing body pump, and we are doing amazing thing, and she loves it. It's nothing <laughs> wrong. And then, for example, Harley, she loves going to the gym and doing deadlifts. So it's totally fine. It's nothing wrong with it. As long as you have enough fitness plan and you know how to move the, the things forward. That's it. But you don't need to think about, oh, I need to go to the gym five times or I need to do this, I need to do that. No, you need to do and you need to play your game. Make sense? So put on your notes, what activities, exercises or sports can help me out to stick to my plan? Because that's how you are learning to know yourself. That's when you're going to avoid disappointment. That's when you're going to avoid feeling like shit. Because you feel like shit when you are comparing with yourself with others. There you go. <laughs> there you Claude, go, Claudia. Claudia, do you recommend body pump for, you know, for like, um, um, I don't know, as in for beginners like ourselves, you know, in this, in, in this game? <laughs> for me, it was really perfect because you can add the, the way that you want at the beginning, nothing. I guess I have started with just the bar. Yeah. And then I started to add in more weight as soon as I feel like more confident that I can manage really? that. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, well, no, yeah. I mean, I don't know what gym you go to. But I, I, I attended, we have body, we have all the classes in my gym. Um, mm -hmm. I think I, yeah, I attended, uh, there's always there's a body, a pump, attack, and you know, all these. But I tell you what, there is a very. Uh, um, I was only joking. I have done the classes myself, um, but um, yeah. So a bit off topic, but yeah, they're good classes, Claudia. Yeah, the best is to try them all and find something that you like and stick to that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You will find something that you really like. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. I need yoga personally, but yeah. Go for it. Yeah. There you go, Sorry. guys. Now to finish off. Okay, my beautiful uh, mini healthy disasters, okay? Because I want you to be a healthy disaster, by the way. Um, something that I want to tell you now that most of you are here, that uh, in a month time, I will be launching a new fully branded uh, app. So it's going to be a totally different one. We're going to have emoticons. You're going to rate. It's going to be fantastic. If you like this app, which is not my favorite one, to be honest, the next app that I'm creating is going to be like, boom, it's amazing. It's, it's very cool. I'm working a lot on, on finishing that as soon as possible, but in about a month it will be. And then all the video exercises will be explained by me, not by some of other people. So it's going to be super cool. Um, and I'm going to try to make that as soon as possible. So yeah, that's one of the things. And then here, how Emir stays so, so motivated, how Emir maintains his positivity, well, well, when you need a text from me, you know, you are texting me all the time and say, you can do it, you got this. It's not because I, I, I'm I'm living in Disneyland or I, li I live, a, I don't know, in a happy, happy place world where nothing happens to me. I got bad things happening to me. I got cheaty days saying like you, I, I'm a human being. I feel depressed. I feel anxious. I don't want to go to the gym as well. I want to have alcohol too. I want to sleep more too. <laughs> I, I want to have things as you guys. I'm no, I don't know. I don't, I'm no God or whatever that I'm perfect. I'm imperfect as any single human being in, on earth. Amir, right? yeah, but I see your videos. Amir, I find whenever <laughs> I want to look at your videos, no joke. They are, you know, I, they so, it feels like they're empowering, very like, it's, it, it feels like it's exactly this exact thing I need to hear at that exact time. So Thank yeah, you. man, you know, love, love that. Love it. But do you see, guys, um, I will give you my secret. And my secret is that I build that up by fueling my motivation every day. So I'm sharing with you my favorite kind of like social media channels where I go and I fuel my discipline and my motivation. 
So on YouTube, those are my three three top favorite uh, guys that I follow. Okay, and here on a podcast as well, uh, on Instagram and TikTok. If you follow them and you start exchanging that, like for example, instead of you going to to Instagram or TikTok to see the supermodels or to see the, the, the news or how shit is becoming the inflation in our country or that things are becoming more expensive and shit like that, they are just worrying you, but they are not motivating you. And you will never make more money by worrying yourself. You, if you worry more, you less you you are panicking. And when you panic, you are starting saving and poor people save money, rich people invest money. So that is really important. And these type of people invest their money and they teach you how to do it. And investing, I, investing it is in your health, investing it is in your mind, investing it is in the food quality that you have, in the dreams, but also in your mental health by going to dancing, by having a, a, a dream to have as well. That is really important. Okay, so all these little things, it is part of the game. For a reason, I'm a healthy disaster and I want you to be a healthy disaster too. Okay, healthy, yeah. but also disaster in the same time. And this is the good news that I want to tell you as well. In, in August time, I will be creating the Healthy Disaster Program. So it's going to be really cool. It, it's going to be crazy. So it's going to be fun. So the Healthy Disaster Program is going to be something crazy. And you will do things that you will never imagine that to do on a fitness program. But it's going to be fun. <laughs> and you will have nice. also, it's going to be also a t-shirt where you're going to be a healthy disaster showing to people that you're a healthy disaster. Because well, I, I, yeah. tell me, there's so many people that just told me, say, what is healthy disaster, bro? What is healthy disaster? So I need to explain in that. I mean, yeah, I hope it will be, uh, what I call it, um, uh, how, well, uh, um, a healthy miracle. <laughs> no, I wanna I wanna be a healthy disaster. I wanna be a healthy disaster. I, I like it. I, I like to, to be a disaster and I like to be healthy in the same time. And that's what we are gonna do. But uh, before wrapping up, guys, do you have any questions, something that you wanna tell me? Um uh, about, uh, yeah, okay. If you want to do it, Daniel, you can talk. Yeah, um <clears throat> nothing really. I was just going to say. <laughs> um, do you guys whenever you want to have a workout with me just let me know literally I can teach you some good stuff where do you uh, don't be pussies where, where do you go <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, what gym do you go to Daniel I live by Horfield area in Horfield okay yeah that's a good gym down there it's good right. well maybe if I come back um, well basically I'm going off for three weeks to Iran and Turkey um, nice. Sunday, hopefully. So I think I'm definitely. Well, Where are you there. living? I, are you I, I am living in the Parkway Station. But um, when? Oh, when am I leaving? Sunday. Sunday, I'll be hopefully leaving. Um, and I think it'll be three weeks. Um, with all honesty, no discipline. I, you know, I'm honest. You know, a realistic guy. I think I'll be eating everything, <laughs> and um, so literally, I'll be. So when coming back, I think he'll be, um, you know, I'll be, you know, all right. Try to try and make the most out of the the mind the mindset fitness. Um, this is, but okay, yeah. Because this is what I was going to propose. I was going to propose you guys like turn up on Sunday, Sunday afternoon. We can we can do something. I can train you something you've never done before in your life. As long as doing some weights and elastic bands. And then we can go to the pub, which is next to my place. That was yeah, our, what I was going to propose to you. Is that the one? Is that the, the what they call the crafty cow pub? Is that it? No, where I'm, where I live, that's far away from where I am because I live by oh. uh, <laughs> close to South Mid Hospital, as you say. Just right in Horfield, Horfield. Yeah, the, the, the South guys, Hospital. Yeah, guys, you can continue that on the WhatsApp group, okay? <laughs> Okay, mate. Um, yeah. <laughs> because that, that's very beautiful. I love it. It's like very, very nice. It's cute, <laughs> but <laughs> it, it, it is, it is, yeah. a, it is. But, um, I, I so, tell you, I do this offer only once. Okay, good. Only you know, once. Let, yeah, he's, he's got the, he's, he is the Godfather. This guy. Yes. <laughs> you know, any, any other question, guys? Before wrapping up, Claudia, Hurley, um, Adrian. Oh, good. 
because here the, the most chatty ones so is being Daniel and mindset. So that's very good. But yeah. Herbie, I didn't hear you anything, Claudia. So means that you you absorb all, all the information. Sorry, well, Harley. Yeah? Sorry, we didn't let you talk properly, my love. Okay. Yeah, I, I yeah, see it Harley. like very you know, she didn't get to contribute anything. But um yeah, guys, listen, uh if I hope 